Is this confusing you a little bit, it this is, setup? all these cameras. Don't yeah. know which one I'm supposed to be looking at. Must be exciting for you to be next to a famous person It is, television. it's very exciting. <laughs> I don't do this every night, you know. No, I do, unfortunately. Uh, no, you were probably wondering what we were looking at. George saw the lights go on over the cameras, which give me the lead into the commercial. Actually, I don't think the audience at home cares what we're looking at. I mean, they're more interested in, in what we well, think. Well, I want to know who, what's looking at me, really. You know, yeah. I'd like to check it out where it there is. You don't have to, they always say you don't have to worry about what camera's on, that they'll find you. Yes. That's, the, that's how I... Big Brother is watching you. <laughs> Whatever. Yoko sat in that very chair. Oh. <laughs> Well, I bet many people have sat in this. Well, a lot of people have sat in it, but I was just I thinking... saw the show. It was very nice. Very did nice. you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Did there was one thing they forgot to plug, so I thought I'd... <laughs> so I thought I'd plug it for them, and that's their new Christmas record. We wish you Merry Christmas. War is over. Get yours now. Thank you. Is there such a record? Yes, he made yeah. it after he was on the show, so he didn't get a chance to talk about it. Oh. Is there a slight undercurrent of hostility between you and, uh, no, no, and other members? No, no, really. No, you can John, tell me. I, mean, you know, I, I wouldn't, <laughs> I'm not going to tell anybody. No, I, I just thought I'd take the opportunity and promote his record for him. Mm -hmm. War is over if you want it. Happy Christmas. Yeah. And Apple Records. Well, are, are you in any sense in contact with each other? Um, I mean, yeah, I saw him last night, actually, at the premiere of Raga. Which what? is what we should talk about, maybe. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, what did you say? Did I you said, hi, hello. Yeah. Do you have said, writers who think of these things, or yeah, do you just yeah. have them ready and you can yeah. just snap them right out yeah. like that? We have good. writers home. And, and Rooms what, full of them. <laughs> what did he come back with right away? With, hi. <laughs> yeah. Gee, this ought to be, uh, was there more, or did that well, just go on? That's pretty You've good. got real boring people, you know, to talk to on your show. I'm probably yeah. the biggest boy you've ever had on the show. Really? Mm. You think? Yeah. Well, I'll be the judge of oh. that. Listen, I'll tell you. Well, I, I don't do... really, you know, they it... asked me, do you want to come on the Dick Cavett show? And I said, uh, mm. yeah, i got nothing to talk about, really. Yeah. They said, well, think of something, you know, anything. So I thought, okay, we'll go and talk about Raga, which is... Uh... Film? Mm. Mm. You mean that's it? When we're done talking about that, then... Then I go. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like to talk, then? Well... Not really. Sometimes, if there's something to say, but there's yeah. really nothing to say these days. You know, I have that feeling too. People think that I must love to talk and that I would love to go to parties and yak my head off. And I could go for months without talking. Well, you talk every night, don't you? I know, and I, I've never liked it. I mean, I've never, I don't crave conversation. I could sit in an empty room for days and, and days. I'd have to leave occasionally, but not to talk. I mean, I would, I, I don't, in other words, I don't have a terrific appetite for talking. The reason I'm rattling on like this is that you've just frightened me by telling me that you don't like to talk. And I figure I may have, will I have to fill then this you, last hour You, you of the just show? talk and I'll watch. <laughs> okay, well, we, we will. Let, let's do talk about the film. And then, um, well, before we get to yeah, that, though, since we, we may run out. Let's get to something else. When you, uh, if you and, you and John and Yoko do meet, though, you're not really no, no. gritting your teeth. No, no, and... we're good friends. Yeah. Well, all of that about her being the problem with the group, is that so slightly silly that, that a one woman could be so much of a problem? No, the group had problems long before Yoko came along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Many problems, folks. Can you remember who was the first to say, you know, I bet we'll break up one day, um, that this won't go on, that this is sort of a dream that we can't all stick no. together? Uh, I don't really remember anything about the Beatle days. Uh, it seems like a sort of, you know, previous incarnation when I think about it. And a long time ago, like yeah. another life. Yeah. Yeah. Do you regret any of it? No, no. Don't regret really anything, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what happened and it was good, you know, it was good, but it was also good to carry on, do something else. In fact, it was a relief. <laughs> Sometimes they say you were... I mean, some you people were... can't understand that, you know, because Beatles was such a big deal. They can't understand why yeah. we should uh, actually enjoy splitting up. 
But there's a time, you know, there's a time when people grow up and they leave home or whatever mm. they do and they go for a change, you know, and it was really time for a change. Don't you think a lot of people just envied the idea of being world celebrities, though? And being well, here? some people, you know, would go on and on forever singing the same tune and playing mm. the same gig if they were making some money, you know? Yeah. But uh, I think we'd all rather give that up and try going on our own and try doing something we really want to do. Mm. And if we don't make it, then hard luck. But uh, as it happens, we've all got such a lot of like, goodwill hanging over from being Beatles. Yeah. I mean, you probably wouldn't have me on the show if I hadn't have been one. Let's face it. No, you wouldn't get here on looks alone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, uh, we will return after they, this message. Oh, now, wait a minute. Station. Just because that comes on doesn't mean you have to do it right away. Oh. Do you feel like doing it now? I just did it. Oh, right. Oh, I see. Four or five minutes. We will. <laughs> Four and five. He's right, folks. We will return after this message from our local station. See, when you say it, the me. Talking with George Harrison, who wants to know if it's over yet. <laughs> uh, they, do you think you might have been the most anxious of the four to get out? I get that impression from reading about it. Uh, maybe, about all of you, it? maybe, yeah. yeah. I wonder it was why. Very, well, because um, over the uh, years, you know, I had such a lot of songs mounting up that I really wanted to do, but I only got my quota of one or two tunes per album, mm -hmm. and. Uh, that way I would have had to have recorded about a hundred Beatle albums just to get out the tunes I had in 1965. Were you held down by the other fellas? Uh, well, very subtly, yes. Yeah? How but would they not do it? Really, I mean, they just... didn't strap me down or anything like that. Yeah. But, um, no, it was just the way things happened, you know. They, mm -hmm. It started off I didn't write, they wrote, then I started to write, and mm -hmm. it was uh, sort of trying to push in a bit. You don't, you don't actually read or write music, do you? No. Well, then how, when you say write... Well, write. Right. If you have a tune that hits you, uh, how do you get it down? Just keep it in your head, you know? Mm -hmm. Just work it out on the piano or on the guitar. But then do you tape it or what preserves sometimes, it? Sometimes, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Put it on tape. But usually you can remember it in your head if you don't. I mean, I write the words down and remember the tune in my head. Yeah. Do you wish you'd studied composition and no. all of that? You don't need it. Well, I, maybe, uh, maybe it would help somewhere. I probably wouldn't have to uh, pay a copyist. Yeah. But you don't miss it. I mean, you can... No, no. It's, it would just help. Maybe because it's not time, really so. sort of music, you know. Yeah. It's like... Uh, I mean, there's a difference between people who write music and classical things and big arrangements to the sort of thing I do. It's just really it's very simple. Mm -hmm. And the other, the other guys... Most of the melodies were, were John's or Paul's that were done, um, yeah. uh, done on the album. Um, that was funny when John was on. Every time you had a commercial break and then came back part 20 and they keep playing Paul's songs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just put our guests at ease, I guess, yeah. is what, what we do. Uh, but they, they always talk about you as the real musician of the group. And if you yeah. haven't studied music, what do they mean by that? That you're more I don't serious know what about they music? Mean. You've seen I don't that, know. though, haven't you? That they it's say. probably because I didn't smile so much. <laughs> 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 to be a real musician, you have to be sour, I suppose. Yeah. It's kind of... There was also the theory that you attracted more girls by being the quiet one, in the same sense that a guy at a party who sits in the corner uh, will have the girl come over and say, "Oh, what's the matter?" It's you just know, uh, this was not a calculated dirty rumor. philosophy on your part, <laughs> was it? Just a rumor, yeah. Yeah. I think Paul used to get them all with his, you know. Uh, do nerves hit you oh, yeah, badly? Oh, yeah, terrible. I, I, yeah. Sometimes I sit down, like before the show, and try and figure out what it is inside that starts all this tension. Where's it coming from? I don't know, no idea. Otherwise, I could control it. They used to say that's a way to get rid of tension, is if you can try to sit down and think exactly where it where is. Is it in your from? stomach? Or what gives you that wave no, through the stomach? it comes from everywhere all at the same time. That's mm -hmm. the problem. You can't sort of, it's sort of abstract somehow, nerves. Well, the, the way nerves act upon you. Yeah. Does any kind of meditation you know, help before? Uh, yes, but I mean, that's a sort of different thing, you know, to this. 
I mean, you can't... Uh, you could meditate and get peaceful, but then the moment they say, the Dick Cavett Show, <laughs> and then the yard again. <laughs> so... Does this happen when you're watching the show, or just when you're... Yeah. It, yes, it yeah. does. Just thinking about it, you know. I didn't know. I've probably, I've probably given you the beginnings of an ulcer. Uh, yes. So, you wouldn't use meditation as a tool to calming you down as the most important thing. I think that's why some oh, people go into it, though. They yes, just say, I've yeah. tried everything, I take tablets. I, I mean, maybe I'm drink. more calm now than I would have been a few years ago, I don't know. But it's mm. still, uh, there's still something about the idea of this, you know, Big Brother and all them people tuned in, okay, what's he gonna say? Yeah. yeah. Look at him. <laughs> and so, you know, you don't, ah, oh, we have to take a station break. And what? <laughs> and what else? and sell some more oranges. No, read, <laughs> no, read the whole thing. And we'll be back. That's the important part.